Hello everybody, Andy here, Chaps Chapesses Chapai. I was in the middle of recording a video when I stopped and I thought, oh, let's see if there's any news on Warcom because they've disabled the RSS feed to my Discord so I can't just tell by checking my Discord and boom, Kill Team Star Set Space Marines vs Plague Marines? Interesting. I have not read the article. I literally just saw it five seconds ago and hit record on this bad boy again. So let's go ahead and see what the heck is going on because I don't know what this is. And if you just look at that, what are we seeing, right? So, 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 Space Marine Heroes, there you go. Start a handbook, MDF terrain, thin, thin boy terrain, what's going on there? Yes, this means there will be rules for Plague Marine kill teams appearing on Warhammer Community in, in the kill, and in the kill team app in the coming weeks. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to read the whole thing. You're learning with me. Okay. I don't know what's happening yet. Let's do it. Right. Um, first things first, of course, if you're a subscriber to my channel, I'd like to give you a big double hello. Wow. Wasn't that so wholesome? What is a double hello? It's a pleasantry that's given to you twice, so like, subscribe, leave a comment right now. The comment can be... Plague Marine? Question mark? There you go. Cool. Um, minor note. Minor note. Just there. I am going to read the whole article because I don't know what's being said. It says... Sp okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We don't need to dilly-dally. Right. Okay. Um... The deadly new edition of Kill Team dropped into stores, homes, and gaming clubs last weekend, and skirmish combat in the 41st millennium will never be the same. The Kill Team Hivestorm launch box is packed with everything you need to play balanced, competitive operations. A brilliant choice for veteran commanders. Minor note. Hey, um, oh, I think this is the last day to do it. Over the weekend, check your email boxes, check your spam. If you're subscribed to the Warhammer like newsletter, you had a thing where you could go and like submit results um, and with the chance to win a year of free kilting. There you go. So go check that out. Uh, because if, some people are reporting they didn't see the, the email, but you should have all had it. Um, but obviously, I don't know. It was a really dodgy looking title. Like win a year of kilting. That sounds fake. So it might have just gone to spam filters. Right. But for those just starting down the path of Kill Team, there's a starter set coming to teach you your conceal orders from your TAC Ops. This package contains 14 push-fit miniatures in two teams, the proud space marines of the Angels of Death, facing down the degenerate heretics of the Plague Marines, which we just read down here. Yes, this means there'll be rules for Kill Team. Yep, we read that. Cool, 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 cool. We see the starter box and we see tokens. Token sheets, dice, board. We could assume the correct size board. It'd be weird of them to give us a half size board. Um, also, just going to say, it looks like we can see there. Uh, we can actually see a crease. I reckon that's a full size board, and it's an actual cardboard board, not a paper mat. Not that they, sh not that they've re ever tried to give us fob us off with a paper mat before. I'm just trying to, you know, consider it. Um, and this terrain, which obviously we're going to have a look at in a moment, and I'm going to read what they say about it, because that's good, bad, unsure. Let's find out. Both sets have been hard to come by in recent years, having been released as two separate generations of the Warhammer Heroes blind box series, but they return to the range with an uncomfortably wet bang. I don't like how they phrased that. <laughs> but I do love a wet bang. Eh... Uh, yeah. Uh... And even though they're both designed to be easy for newcomers to play, they're strong teams who are perfectly capable of tussling with any of the other factions in the game. Yeah, we know. I've done a video, mate. We know. <laughs> uh, minor note, sorry. Um, obviously, I already had the Strike Force Justin box. That has been available sporadically in different countries. I know you can just buy it from like Target in the USA, and you can buy it in Germany, I think. But it's not available in the UK. There was a time when it was easy to get, but now you can't get it in the UK. I, I looked at some point, so it's just good luck. Space Marine Heroes Death Guard, you have never been able to get outside of Japan. You had to import it, and I did. 
twice because I sell a lot of stuff. Yeah. Um, so there you go. Lovely models. Although when I imported them, if you this guy here, this is the malignant plague caster style model. Um, he was like a separate model that came not in the box. So you got these six. No, you. You got these six and a duplicate, just like you get with Strike Force Justin. You get one duplicate normal guy. This guy came in like a separate box that was like a painting set that was extra, and I never got him. So now, maybe I'm gonna have me a wet boy. I don't know. A wet, wet, bubbly boy. Moving on. Um, I don't like. Anyway, moving on. Right. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, the new 64 page introductory rulebook is designed for the ground up to guide new play. Oh, sorry. Cost, dunno, but I paid a buttload, which is very fitting for Nurgle to import them from Japan. So I'm gonna be honest, it's it's gonna be. I'm a bit scared for how much this star set is gonna cost because I paid a crap load for those. So um, <laughs> I assume GW is not gonna take that into account and it's gonna be a regular starter box price, whatever that is. I don't know, but uh, yeah, there you go. Right. Adding new concepts as it goes along into a final climactic confrontation puts all of the commander's new knowledge to the test. New builders can follow clear construction guides laced with examples and lore snippets to help them along, followed by in-depth lore sections on each of the kill teams so you can figure out who your favourites are before plunging into combat. Finally, the booklet caps off with a few advanced rules and extra mission conditions to showcase a little of the kill team experience. Rules, reference sheets and tokens are included for both kill teams. Although uh, I do note they're showing the um, the what uh, the Vespid and the Aqualons sheet there, it's a bit weird. But it is a new pick because it's from the starter handbook. They didn't just take the core book picture from Hive Storm. They've said, "Nah, you're getting you're getting the Aqualons and Vespid token sheet, mate." It's weird, but okay. Uh, finally, uh, the booklet caps off with a few advanced rules extra mission conditions to showcase the, little kill team, the full kill team experience. Rules, reference sheets, and tokens are included for both kill teams. Yep, I really read that. Great. Uh, regular kill team games will be available for download from the Warhammer, while the full rules used in regular kill team games will be available for download from the... Does that mean we're getting the core rules in the app? Because we don't have that at the moment. Oh, unless they mean for the teams. They mean for the teams, don't they? Cool. Uh, universe of Horror and Glory. Yes. This set is fantastic for another reason. The all-new terrain. If it looks oddly wooden, that's because it is. The Kill Team style set comes with easily assembled printed MDF terrain that slots together in seconds. So you can get right into your first games without needing to build and paint loads of plastic walls and ruins. Hmm. Okay. So, you know, this is just straight up pre-printed, so printed I guess is the correct term, but printed full colour MDF terrain. That's a thing. So I bizarrely have quite a lot of experience with um, printed terrain, uh, but normally it's card. So it's like a thick card stock. But this is, they call this out as MDF. And I would assume they're correct because if we look at the edges, unless they've coloured in the edges, which they could have, um, normally the edges of card are grey because it's, you know, cardstock. Whereas the edges of MDF are either going to be um, a light beige because it's wood or a burnt brown because it has been laser cut. And that looks to me like it is laser cut MDF. So that's interesting. I would it, this, So this is, from, from what it's showing here, actually printed colour MDF, which I know is possible... Um, but because for example, I think uh, I just randomly saw on Facebook TT Combat, who do lots of MDF kits, is doing a is doing this. Uh, I, they're launching a Kickstarter like next month for coloured MDF terrain. So maybe this is the kind of thing we can expect from TT Combat going forwards. But GW pipped them to the post. Very interesting, if so. Not only does it build and set up easily but it also packs down flat as well aboard, making it the most portable and convenient terrain since those little folding cardboard walls that serious Warhammer veterans may remember from the second edition of Warhammer 40,000. 
It's a genuinely exciting prospect for those of us who want to quickly pop a game out of our pockets at lunchtime, a common occurrence in the Warhammer community office. Again, nobody else does that Warhammer community, just so you know. You, you know what? You know, no, bollocks. Sorry, nobody's playing Kill Team on their lunch break, unless they're also not working because Kill Team takes too long to play. I'm just throwing that out there. Stop lying. Thank you. Cool. The game does play faster, but it doesn't play that fast, unless you have like a two hour lunch break, in which case, I'll take it. Oh, or unless you play against uh, elites, in which case you could just get a table turn two, so it's fine. Cool. Well, there you go. That's, um, none of that's expected. Uh, definitely not the MDF terrain. That's interesting. How do we feel about MDF terrain from GW? Is it something they're going to do more of? Is is this a first SWAT at the at the the balls, if you will? Um, is this? Yeah, I don't know. Bizarre. Are they going to do more? If you are familiar with MDF terrain, it is relatively easy to do slot together MDF where you can get platforms. So we could have had vantage points. Is this GW kind of? putting in like the bare minimum and only giving us some some t-section walls and, and and stuff and the next bit of mdf kit they give us is going to be like a full constructed thing or i don't know i'm just wondering what this is i i wish i could see the future and see if this is just a one-off and they're never going to touch mdf again or if this is hey all of our starter kits are going to have mdf terrain now because this could be used in anything else right like, yes, yeah, for Kill Team, that's awesome. This could be in Combat Patrols. This could be in uh, 40k starter boxes. Uh, Sigma starter boxes, right? It's presumably significantly cheaper than plastic. Otherwise, they would have just given us plastic in the starter box, right? Interesting. Uh, and I've got to say, um, that's cool. That's interesting. But getting my hands on the Death Guard heroes again is awesome. And further to that, being able to get my hands on the Death Guard heroes all the time for the next three years is super cool. Suddenly, these are going to be everywhere because, of course, starter boxes are in are in stock. This is a permanent product. Hive Storm would eventually go away. This is forever. That is very cool. Cool. Well, um, hey, if you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to give you a big thank you. And that thank you is, of course, a big triple hello. Wow, so wholesome. The wholesomeness truly knows no bounds, except this time the wholesomeness is from you to me for watching the whole video. Thank you for that. Also, before you go, sorry, I know you've already left because I did the triple hello thing. Quick aside. Uh, hey. Oh no, where's it all gone? Here we go. Uh, go and check out Crossfire Games on Etsy. They are doing some gubbins for the new edition of Kill Team. Go check that out. Also, uh, there is, if you want 10% off your order, look in the pinned comment. That will have a link to their store and also uh, the code, I think is Glass Half Dead 24. I don't know. It's in the code. It's, it's, in, it's in the comment. It's fine. Uh, and also, if you're interested in such things um, and you find yourself over in Prague, November 2nd and 3rd, go check that out. I won't be going, unfortunately, because I'm actually going to be in Poland that weekend. Um, but... I do hope I can go next year, and I have been to this event before in the last edition, the two, two editions ago, Kill Team 2018, um, and it was super good, really nice, so go and check both of those out, of course it's all pinned in the top comment. Thank you for watching everybody, stay high, Drated.